say what's up everybody it's your boy church with here out of here entertainment and uh, i got a real good guest in the building tonight man my boy bezel what it is I, man what's up with it i met my brother over there at uh slim buzz concert a function that my brother slim buzz one was putting on i want to shout out to my boy slim buzz johnny b I They be putting it down with the support local music with the SLM mm -hmm. movement Dope. down about that. And uh that's how I ran into my brother. And uh Dope. I we, we just gonna chop it up tonight, man. What's good, man? man? What's up, player? Hey, you didn't have a hard time finding the spot. Oh no, man. You know, this is my city too, man. It's second home, <laughs> man. So I'm good. I know where I'm at. You know you was at? Yeah, yeah. It's already, man. Ready, man. Uh, what's up with it, pimp? I, man, let me tell you, man, when I heard that the songs that you were dropping, man, they they really Piss nigga heart, man. Yeah, yeah, you know that's what you know that's what it's supposed to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how I write my music. You know what I'm saying? That's emotionally. You know what I'm saying? I want you and passionately. I want you to feel every line in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You brought that. You brought that fire, man. I think you lit the stage up, man. It, it, right. I mean, you came. You came last. You came on. Yeah, last, and they tried but... to play on me with that. They did try to play on me with that last. I wasn't supposed to be the uh, the closer. Like it wasn't you supposed killed. to be. I yeah. Think, hey, I think God had it just like. Yeah, it yeah. To go. God did that. Yeah. You're supposed to go just like it supposed to went, man. Real Whatever talk. Went, real talk. You shine and shine the brightest. And I think uh, even the artists, man, who was there. Mm -hmm. They respect the game and no hey, you yeah. do some work, man. Yeah, do some work. Yeah, man. That stage, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's what I love, man. Just that energy. I don't care how many people in the crowd, ten to ten thousand, man. I just I, I I lose myself when I'm on that stage, man. You feel me? I feel you more almost. <laughs> man, how did you uh start getting into the rapping this game? What what kicked that off for you? Honestly, man, my big brother, man, when I was uh. When I was about five or six years old, he used to rap. His name was a uh, Caviar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We grew up out there in Mississippi. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, he used to be, he was dope. My brother was dope. You know, he make beats now. You know what I'm saying? But, still at it? Yeah, he still do his thing. You know, he's still making his thing. You know, making his Shout moves. out to your fam. Yeah, shout yeah. Shout out to Cav, man. He's still doing his thing. He go by Charlie Proper now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of dope. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, So I started from that, just watching him when I was young. And he was the first person to put a pen in my hand. You know what I'm saying? It was just like. <laughs> you know, for real. And then I, it, it's Got like pausing with it. What right? man? It's like it took his a fire of itself, man. Like I couldn't stop it. Like I was addicted to it. Like every day, every night, it's all I did was write. Man, I could fill up this whole room with all the papers I got. Man, that's what's up. Yeah, what's man, up. for real. Man, how did you come up with that hit uh, on a mission? I'm on a mission to get it. Get it. Did just, it, it was one of them songs on the mission. One of them songs that just feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like when it come on, to make you want to dance. It make you like the beat. The beat move you. You know what I'm saying? So I love music like that too. I'm not just all lyrical where I don't like to have fun too. Like you know, I feel like that's a problem with a lot of lyricists. They <laughs> they they forget to let loose. You know what I'm saying? And and, and enjoy and forget that hip hop is at the end of the day still another form of music. Uh, and it's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it is just entertainment. So we got to we still got to. Uh, an obligation to entertain, you know what I'm saying? What's your what's your what's your mission with Sky High? Man, I'm trying to be the first person in a long time to build an independent empire. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a heavy oh, hitter boy. empire, bro. Like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm swinging for the fence because I feel like it's capable. If 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 I put all my all into it, you know what I'm saying? It could take off, you know what I'm saying? And with my business mind and with my uh, musician mind, put put them two together. Man, I'd be able to build something amazing, and man. And also add that with the faith in God. Oh, man, you, you know that, man, because God going to breathe on it. And Amen. when God breathes on it, it's, it's, it's on. It's, that. it's gone, baby. It's, that. it's gone. It's that. It's that. Yes, sir. Man, what's your uh, favorite, favorite hip-hop album, man? It's like, this is oh, what I like the last man. one. This is what I, one of my questions like last Talk. Oh, man. man. What's your favorite hip-hop album? What's my man? favorite hip of all time? All time, man. <laughs> Boy, okay. <laughs> I got I got to give you like... Okay, I gotta give you a tie, at least, bro. A tie. I gotta yeah, give yeah, you a tie. Yeah, yeah. Now these ain't my favorite rappers, 
but these are probably my favorite albums of all time, even though they probably are in my top five. Yeah. I will go Nas Still Matic. Ooh. I go that Nas Still Matic <laughs> album. Yeah, bro. That Nas Still I like Still Matic better than Ill Matic, dog. Yeah. Still Matic is the truth, man. Yeah, I ain't even gonna yeah. lie. People slept on that Still Matic album, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nas, Nas is my number one rapper. I mean, yeah. I love pop. Yeah, man. I love he in my top three or five. I put him up there. Nas, Nas got he, he that dude. He, he, my, he, my, he my favorite rapper. He your favorite so, yeah, rapper? Yeah, oh, so then you yeah, already yeah, dominant. Yeah, 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 you yeah, already rocking with that yeah, skin, I, man. I, I, then. I, I, you know, I, so then I, you I, already I didn't know. I think he was going to say that, man. Yeah? I, I didn't think he was going to say that. What? I didn't know what was going to run that whole first. album. Okay, and then let me see. The next one, I was going to go see like this. I listen to this album the most, even though it's probably not one of my favorites. But it's the most I listened to. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, DMX, uh, and then there was X album. Man. It was that, and then there was X album, and it wasn't even my favorite album by him. But I jammed that shit like religiously, bro. Like I jammed man. that album crazy, dog. X yeah. gonna give it to you. Oh man, man. DMX, that dog, <laughs> man, he a fool with it, bro. Man. And then I, I feel bad if, if I, if I wouldn't add Weezy in there, dog, and I wouldn't throw in that Carter Three, dog, yeah. like. I feel played if I don't throw that Carter yeah, 3 in there, man. On for the, he put it on for the South, man. Man, that Carter 3 is a hip-hop classic, man. Now, my favorite rapper is Pop. Oh, but, yeah, my favorite rapper is Pop. But Pop albums was always so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, classic. okay, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, no, 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 not all of them, bro. We not going to push it like that. He my favorite rapper, but all the albums one classic, man. Uh, Let me think. My favorite one of Pop is All Eyes On Me. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite Pac album, bro. Yeah, bro. That's my favorite Pac. What you think about Big? Love him, man. You think you... can't help but love him, man. Yeah. uh, Yeah, Big that dude. Life After Death is definitely a classic classic. album, man. Yeah. No, but... uh, That's probably my top top four or five rappers right there. Tupac, Big, Nas, X, and then probably Wayne. What's good with that? What's good with that song, man, that you put down, man? Uh, B-Boy. Today, I'm like, yeah, man, well, I'm with that. Yeah, you like that, though? Man, that's what's Love up, dog. Mm-hmm. Just shining, bro. Just be water means shit. We started just just talking shit, like, you know what I'm saying, as far as being icy and dripping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you just sauce the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? And when you so, you know what I'm saying, it can mean, like I said, a song. Like, I say, my bitch got wet, wet. She water, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, so right. it can mean, it's a plan where it can mean whatever you want whatever it to mean. Feel. Yeah, dog. Like, whatever you be, be water. Be water, though, you now, know what I'm saying? why you choose water as an adjective to express... Uh, that fluid movement in in his song because you know it's I'm holy. <laughs> I like it for real. <laughs> I said it's holy, man. The, the water holy, baby. Like for real, man. Holy water. <laughs> holy water, pimp. <laughs> I feel for you, real, man. man. They just don't know you that. Got, you got to be flexible with that water. Water, you got. Oh it's man, it's, to me, that's the most powerful substance on the earth. It definitely you know is, bro. We 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 basically water. Straight you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, it. man. We can't live so without it, man. That's why I say be water, man. It, it can mean. We can talk it in a deep, you know what I'm saying, standpoint, or we can just speak on it on the surface. That depends on how deep you're willing to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, let me ask you this question. I'm finna, finna just, it's still, to me, it's still about entertainment. It's still about right. music. But right, right. What you think about the climate of hip hop right now? What you think is the stage or the state of hip hop right now? It's been worse. It's been worse? It's been worse. I've seen worse. And I think that a lot of people are harsh on it this day right now. And a lot of they rappers that's coming up right now, 
a lot of these dudes do got bars. Like for real. Like when you break down what they saying. Who you who you who you, who you uh, referring to? And I think that, yeah. Uh, like the Migos, oh, people yeah, like they, that. You know they, what I'm saying? They, they, they like, yeah, level. They yeah. Cause but level. I've heard, I've heard, you know, old hip hop heads disrespect guys like them. No, you them know? boys on no level. And them boys is eating, bro. dog. Them boys is eating, dog. But not even like, I mean, just them. Like, you can level. name somebody from this younger generation. I think. Uh, let me name. Let me think. Well, something. you know, cause you got Migos, you got. Kendrick still in Oh yeah, Kendrick. You know, Kendrick. I don't. I don't even know, include him, dog. Know, like, you know, you don't know. nobody. They, they they question Kendrick as being one of the greatest. You know what, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Real talk, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, he not even in that in that lane as far as this whole new wave go. But I do believe people being harsh on him. though. like I I've seen worse eras in hip hop, bro. Okay, I could pull some out, dog. Let, <laughs> let me ask you something though. But well, what era in hip hop you seen these niggas wearing dresses, man? Oh, uh, see, we ain't talking fashion. I was just talking <laughs> lyrics. Now we talking fashion. That's a whole nother fucking problem, bro. Like I, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I can't get with none of that shit, G. None of that shit, bro. So, like, man, what's with the nah. dresses? I mean, why do you boy want to wear dresses, man? Nah, man. Is they you boy want to put on weird gowns, man? I like, mean, I think the, hey, I think, hey, I think when we when when we went skinny, we just we 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 started there and we didn't stop. Like nobody put a, <laughs> nobody put a bar somebody right there. Should somebody should have stopped that shit. One of the legends should have said something about it. Nobody said nothing. Man, do, you, do you think that's a? Uh, do you think that's an industry uh, move or some type of uh, governmental move where they're trying to push homosexuality yeah, on yeah. brothers, man? Like I that? do believe that. I believe it's an agenda to try so to weaken man. the black man in the hood. You know, and not even just in the hood. Period. Black men in every community, all over the world. Because you see, you know it's affecting saying? every community. It ain't world, just bro. affecting the hood. It's yeah. affecting the burbs. It's affecting the the rich people. Everybody, the middle class is. It's, it's really. It's a. I, I don't have no problems with homosexuality, but you can tell that they pushing that They're agenda. Pushing that on you our you can just bro. like me and my girl. We got a joke that we always do, that and it's and it's so funny because it rings true. Is that uh whenever you think about starting a TV show, the first thing a director or any major producer gonna ask you is, well, who's your gay guy? <laughs> For talk, real, real you can't have a show without a gay guy. Indeed, indeed. We done talking if you ain't got a gay guy, and bro. And then preferably real. they try to put the gay guy as black because I hardly exactly. see that. With white guys in shows, I don't really right. see them uh, putting up on dresses, man, and right. doing that and flipping it. Right, like that. right. I really don't see it, bro. Right, right. Now they definitely, they definitely is pushing it for African American right, right, man. You right. can tell that that is. I mean, yeah, They're yeah. Targeted. Like you don't even gotta be no philosopher to, to comprehend that. You could just look at it with your naturalness and be like, okay, something ain't right here, motherfucker. You keep kind of telling me to wear this motherfucking <laughs> lipstick. Over and over, motherfucker. I don't want to wear no lipstick, goddamn it. Yeah, but they'll they'll put that bitch on magazines, on beauty videos, on where the fuck. Yeah, tell them make, want you to believe the idea that some man, you know, he got his parts cut off or whatever, flipped up or done whatever. Now he's become some kind of woman or some kind of fake like that. Real I talk. Want you to believe that. Real talk. I can't go against God. I'm nothing. Real yeah. talk. That's yeah. why I'm at. I can't. Yeah. I'm not gonna look at God in the face and lie. It's in, in, I I'm with you on that. I'm with you. I'm with you on it. I'm with Some you on that. Some people might have whatever they feel about it, but right. this, this is my words. It might not be my brother, but this is what I'm saying. And I just I won't go. Against no, it. man. Like you know, my, as far as God goes with like you mean like a homosexualness or no? Or I'm just, just talking about whatever you know. Like I won't. I won't go, that too. But mm-hmm. I won't go against whatever he's saying. You know, I Period. won't. I won't lie for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's See, real. Say, let's say let's say if a, if an adultery is wrong. If a fornicator is wrong, mm-hmm. if all these wrong. things, it's all wrong. You can't, I can't, but I can't legalize it. Meaning, I like, can't legalize murder. Nah, nah. I can't legalize uh, a lot of the things that they're pushing as a marriage. Right, right, right. I can't legalize and then say, well, now God don't matter. It's, and let me ask you about uh, what you think about uh, what you think about uh, our president, man. Trump, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Trump. Trump. I mean, she. He a rapper too. Huh? <laughs> Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump. Be real though. I think Trump, Be Trump, low key, uh, like Trump, Trump, low key trolling the world. <laughs> like he just he figured out how to troll the whole world. Like, and he just and he having too much fun doing it. Like, we yeah. should have a problem. Why our presidency not looking as presidential as he should more than anything else? Like, then he's saying all this crazy shit. We get so caught up in the buffoonery that right. we not even realizing that this is the motherfucker that's representing our whole fucking country. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he representing everybody. Goddamn, he done, he done made it work. 
Anybody can become president. Man, I done seen some people. Boy, I ain't never seen white people get this bold, boy. White people bold as shit now, though. Yeah. <laughs> shit, we thought they were bold when Bush had it. Now nah, they bold now, Trump boy. Trump got the gate. Trump got the gate. Trump got them banging. With that being said, that's segue right. right to this question. Do right. you think we live in a post racial society? Is racism gone? Is racism gone? From this country, yeah. Because I know Wayne. You say, well, you ain't never had a problem with no. Well, shit, I ain't Wayne. I'm from Mississippi, goddamn it. And I, I, I grew up around racism, bro. Like, that shit. Like, I told somebody, nigga, I ain't even know the rebel flag was a bad thing. That bitch hung up in front of my school every day. I ain't even know. Like, I didn't even know that what this was representing. You feel me? Until I got older in my years. But when I was a kid, we had one right there next to the American flag. Right next. Shoulder by shoulder, bro. Hanging up in front of the school, bro. And didn't even know what the fuck we facing. You know what I'm saying? For real, dog. So, like, I I lived with a a, a crazy number of racism, bro. I'm talking about white people who used to be so bold. They'll call your nigga to your face. Mm. Like, I'm talking about Mississippi. They'll call you a nigga T-Face. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Shout like out to that boy Banner. Yeah, man, for real, man. They know yeah, I ain't yeah. lying, bro. Everybody yeah, from there. Yeah. And boy Creek, too, bro. Man. You grew up in that still, boy. Don't you know what I'm talking about, man. For real, man. So, I'm very familiar with racism, bro. I have seen it my life. In my mouth, it's a real deal to this day. Like, motherfuckers is real tripping, like... You know, but what, what what what's the answer? Like, how we fix it? How you fix? How it? do we fix it? That's the. That, I mean, but I don't what? know if it'll ever be fixed. But I think we can fix these laws. Yeah. Enforce these laws. Yeah. Make these policies where they not wishy washy. Be consistent with the law. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Don't say the law is one thing. Don't say and, opportunity is another mm-hmm. thing. Equality is another thing. And then when it comes down to just us. If yeah. there's no just us. Yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah. Because they, they good for keeping us at the bottom of the totem pole. Right you feel on. what I'm saying? Like, I worked in the warehouse, man, one time when I was, like, 17. And I ain't going to call the warehouse name, bro. But it was so fucked up, bro. Because I felt like I was the bottom of the totem pole. And I was in that bitch with Asian, Mexicans, mm. white people, and then black people. And when I say we had the least amount of pull in that motherfucker, we had the least amount of pull in that. And that shit shouldn't be right when we helped build this country. If not help, we did build this country. Right on. You feel what right I'm right saying? On. And why right the hell, why, right why, why, why is my race at the bottom of the total pole? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for when real. When it comes to just fairness. You know exactly, what I'm bro. No or even the position yeah. of power. Right so you on. mean ain't no black men who can manage this warehouse that's ready? Nobody, <laughs> you couldn't find one Leroy ready to work, dog, ready to manage this motherfucker for me, dog. But that, I gotta talk to Juan and shit. He don't speak a lick of English. You know what I'm saying? We trying to argue about how to unlock, unload all these computers and shit like that. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. Like it's that that should not be, especially coming from we been here. Yeah, you talking that real, bro? <laughs> for real, you, dog. I, I appreciate that. Real man. talk, man. Man, I, I appreciate you being uh, one hundred with that. Oh yeah, let man. me ask you about that song, man. It really felt like church. When I heard you mm-hmm. spitting that and your delivering your performance on that stage, performance with that song. Yeah. Uh, domestic violence. Right, right. In love with this man, always fucking her over. Let's start with her emotion. That's that double ocean. Go no back for your skin. And I always call her emotion. She needed some freedom. He wouldn't let her leave. Playing mind games. Too many tricks up his sleeve. Like she had this rust on her.
like she needed a homie. Somebody to kick it with her, someone who's not phony. She got like a crazy for a night out on the city. Her girlfriend left her hanging. They said she said ditty, so she went out on her own. Like, fuck them, I'm grown. And that's when she first saw him. First smelled his cologne. Immediate attraction. Now, where did she go wrong? She went wrong cause she could feel it in her bones They spent the whole night talking and drinking and cooling He had all the answers, she thought who he fooling She knew that she had him, she could see him drooling Said that if I ain't you, he do you know what you doing Grab his bones up, put her number in it, pause But she did, looked up in his eyes and saw her future Good decision Right that was, I mean, that was a very passionate song, man It very, is, man uh, I would say heartfelt song, right? And I think it's such so so needed in this time with so many cases of domestic violence. That's why I wrote it. When it when especially when you're seeing people get killed, you know. I know sometimes some people and they, and they love affairs, they marriages mm -hmm. and whatnot. Right. They 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 bump heads and things might not necessarily go according to plan. But when you start like I said, I saw a news article the other day. Mm -hmm. This brother, I I don't know what it's black white whatever. But lit, lit somebody on fire, mm. burnt them up. I thought about your song when I when I, uh, I when I heard that. I, I, when I saw that article, I was like, damn. Mm. I thought about that song, man. So, yeah, man. man, it's deep, bro. It, I, I don't even know. To be honest with you, bro, I tell everybody something. I don't even know what inspired me to write it. That's how I know it must have been God. Like sometimes I write like for me. I know when I'm writing for me. You know what I'm saying? Because my bars are for me when I say about my lyrics. Mm -hmm. They for me. Like, they sound like they come from me. But I could tell when God done took control of my pen, like, almost, man. Because it's really like, I feel like it's always a deeper message being sent. And I can't explain it, man. But I know that it's needed. And, like, from my own personal experience with domestic violence, the, the theory of the song is about the man who accidentally kills his wife. Hmm. It wasn't that he did it on purpose. It wasn't that he was this ang angry, beating up dude who just want to beat on the bitch. He wasn't like that. He was just a regular dude who happened to get too mad and he accidentally killed his wife. You know what I'm saying? It was an accident. But him by oh. being angry, you know what oh. I'm saying? Yeah, man. Woo! And that's how... That's a lesson, man. Yeah, man. Because I, I think people get so... I know us as men, bro. Like, we, we get so caught up in trying to say, well, we ain't never put our hands on them. We ain't abusive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we can't consider that, but... There's a bunch of different levels of abuse, you know what I'm saying, between verbal and physical and, and so forth and so right, on, right. and uh, and even mental, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, so I, I just want to put some kind of light on it, cause somebody got speak of five queens, man. You know what I'm saying, like real talk. Somebody got to say it, dog. It. You killed it, and I can't wait till this song be on radio, from city to city. Right. I'm gonna do what I can, put it in what, how many people hands, and share it, and, right. and let folks know about it, man. It's that's like. That's a hit. Yeah. That's a hit, brother. Straight yeah. off the bat, it's yeah. a hit, man. And uh, I, I, I hope that uh, Mad Hatter, radio station, 979, yeah. Yeah. y'all show this brother some love. He's a local artist right out of the H. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, he he, he residents here now, so. I've been here, man. You know, I've been here. Been H. I've been in the age since I was 17. I'm 29. You family. Yeah, bro. Family. I've been in them been for over 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> we got to put, we gotta put that. That, that got to hit the radio station, man. I'm pretty right. sure it's going to uh, magnetize and help somebody's heart. Man. Exactly, man. Because mm -hmm. I'm ready for the, 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 you know, it ain't going to all be love. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 built for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm okay. I ain't worried. I ain't scared. I'm built for this. Like, you know what I'm man, saying? I'm, I, I don't know if you heard this before, man. When I first heard you. Yeah. I was like, man, he reminded me of Jeezy, man. Jeezy? Yeah, I, I, I did. I don't know. Did you? Did you? Have you heard that before? Sometimes, man. I get it every once in a while, bro. I know just, you. I know you. I know you yourself. You got your own style and flow. Yeah. But it just put me. I say like this. Let me rephrase it. The charisma. Yeah. Yeah. That put me in like, man. He gonna make it. Well, that's so a good. I saw, I that's saw good you, company there. I bro. saw you like transitioning. Like when yeah. I first heard Jeezy, I'm like, man, boy, I got something. Yeah, I, you know, like following his records and following out when he first came out, mm -hmm. Snowman. Yeah, the trap of dies. Straight out. Yeah, I, I felt I felt the same way. That's what I mean. So okay, Don't I felt the same way when oh, I man, heard when I when, when I heard it. I'm like, man, man, 
Yeah. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> dope. Shout out to that boy Jeezy too, though, man. Yeah, I've been a fan that. of Young Jeezy since I was a kid, man. We used to cook up dope to that boy music shit. For <laughs> real, bro. I ain't lying. I put that on everything. Jeezy was that dude. Is that dude, man. That's, yeah. that's, he probably in my top ten, bro. Very underestimated rapper, bro. For Jeez, real. Man, like, Very man, underestimated wanted, rapper, bro. Lyrics I'm talking about. Like, I'm talking about lyrics, too. I'm talking yeah. about lyrics. I'm talking about uh, business acumen. I'm talking about yes, level bro. That you that you see a brother progress from. I respect his movements. Yeah. I respect how he moved. He ain't never been on no no bullshit. Like, he always been professional and, and real. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and down to earth, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's real. So, yeah. that's who you... That's, that's a good... That's, that's a, a good company. That's a good company, bro. Yeah, I ain't that, gonna lie who, to you. That's who you mind me. And not as a knock on your brand or nothing. Like, they would just say, hey, man, I saw it, man. I, I can see the... If you stay on that track... Yeah. You gonna be where you at. Yeah. I'm gonna surpass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I asked you earlier... That would be a blessing, what man. What was your... Uh, Goals with Sky High. I see that. I see that. I see you going Sky High with it, brother. Yeah, yeah. I hope I'm so, man. Well, I'm, I'm trying to push it there. I ain't gonna lie. And I ain't gonna stop yeah, until sorry. I get it there. So you know what I mean. On that note, we gonna close. Already, babe. Man, Appreciate you, you having me, time, man. man. Oh man, Come, anytime, bro. With it, man. Anytime, man. And being 100, answer any question man. like. I, this didn't this didn't feel like an interview. This was too fun right here. Real so talk, just chopping like, it up like. Yeah, you feel like me? we talking on the block. This this didn't feel like no uh, like no. No stress, no strain. So I appreciate it. Real shit, flow, real man. shit, man. Real shit. That's how it goes. That's how it's supposed to be, man. Holler at us. Hit out hit entertainment.com. And tell them where they can find you, my brother. Yeah, man. Y'all can follow us on um, on Instagram. It's at BezelB1. Uh, I got a YouTube page that y'all can subscribe to. It's Sky High Records YouTube page. That's where all our videos, all our news uploads are going to be going to first. So I would suggest y'all subscribe to that YouTube page. And y'all can get at me on my personal Facebook, man. It's at Bezel Holmes. I can get at me personally. You dig what I'm saying? So, Sky High Records. Remember that name. Buzzle. We out.